hey, hey, hii dunia ina maneno kweli. Hmm? Kuna country fulani pale Asia. Hmm? I won't mention its name. At when you commit a crime, hmm? verdict, punishment inaenda mpaka kwa the third kin. Hmm? You know what that means? Tikama, it's your grandchild who has committed a crime. Hmm? Then dad and then grandparent is also accused. Hmm. Ati muna kusanyo nyinyi wote. Muna pedekwa kwa njera za reba. Hmm? You serve the nation. Hmm? You are punished, all of you. Hmm. Imagine kama ni Kenya. Hmm? Wanugo wamepatikana. Tunatafuta baba yake. Tunatafuta huyo wanugo na tunatafuta the granddad or the grandmother. Hmm? Kenya ni wangapi wangekuwa huru? Let us be sincere. Hebu <laughs> fikiria in your lineage. Hmm? Yaani familia yote inasafa. Hmm? Because of sin of one person. Hmm? Crime ya mtu mmoja tu. Ati kama ni kinjana ama madam ume, ume, umefanya crime na umetoroka hmm? at your parent can be charged in court hmm. Kenya ni wangapi wangekuwa huru hmm. he dunia ina maneno kweli hmm? should such a law hmm? apply in Kenya he <laughs> Hii ni tricky sana. Hadi hao. Mtoto wangu afanye makosa, mimi nikuwe ndani, babake akuwe ndani, babu yake akuwe ndani. Yaani sisi wote tukuwa wafungwa juu ya crime ya mtu mmoja. But actually, watu ufanya crime kwa that country, but hmm? ina ina control. Hmm? Ina control the crimes in that country. Cuz if it is your child, you nurture that child in a way that he or she will be doing the right thing always. <laughs> Kenya, <laughs> you can see the difference. Hmm? Yani sasa mimi nifungwe juu ya makosa ya mtu mwingine. Hmm? And actually wanasema ni three. Hmm? Third generation. Up to the third generation. Hmm? <laughs> you can imagine what can happen in our country Kenya. Hmm? Wangapi wako sure you would be enjoying your freedom out here. Follow this channel for amazing updates and insights. Like, share and comment. Would you be free? Let me know kwa comment. Bye bye and I'll see you in the next video.